Hello there. Uh, this is a picture. I fancy doing some splodgy painting. I had these really nice little canvases. And this is a picture of um, a screenshot I, I took recently. We've been striking back against the Thargoid terror. So this involves travelling to the Thargoid motherships, the Titans, and shooting them. And, and, and shooting them in, in a very specific way. And this has been reasonably successful and resulted in a bunch of screenshots that I took that this is one of. So the Titan, you approach it. You approach it from the Thargoid-owned system, which is quite perilous to travel through because there's various different defending ships who will pull you out of Super Cruise into normal space to attempt to attack you. And you need a pretty quick ship to escape them. Although the uh, the the dangerosity of it was was toned down a little bit, so but you you still do need a fast ship to get away from them because you're not interested in fighting Thargoids in the system of the Titan. What you're interested in is attacking the Titan itself, and uh, that can only be done from within the cloud. The cloud has to be entered by passing through the various pulse waves that the Thargoid sends out, that the Titan sends out. It's, uh, it's got this shock wave that it's able to throw out when it feels something approaching it. And if you're doing this in a game instance where lots of people are approaching the Thargoid, you might see this shock wave numerous times. So uh, the shock wave, if you cannot protect against it, will hurl you at ridiculous speeds back away from the centre of the cloud and back into normal space. But if you can protect against it, if you've equipped the Thargoid Pulse Neutralizer <laughs> utility, you you can you can press on ahead and it does heat your ship up a bit actually, but you can still get in. And when you get there you see the uh, the central asteroid cloud around the Titan. It's not really been explained why the Titan's got asteroids around it, but it's got rocks. There's plenty of rocks and it's quite good because when you see the rocks, you know you've got through the gas cloud, the caustic gas cloud, and you can relax a bit. Of course, the relaxation is only temporary because awaiting you within the centre are wandering interceptors and glaives and the titan itself which does have some really quite rubbish lasers I mean, they, they do pack a punch if you're very close to the titan and you get caught by them they can peel your shields and do some damage pretty quick but for the most part they tend to miss so so that's not your biggest worry and that's the glaives the evil glaive the, the <laughs> every video i do now is me saying Oh, I hate the glaives in because 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 they're awful. They're awful. The glaives are the hunter class Thargoid. They they've now released two that we know of, but there may be others in waiting. Who knows? They're specifically unpleasant and uh, very fast and very angry. So when you get to the Titan, your purpose is to damage it. And in order to damage it, you need to take down its defences. And the defences are taken down by overloading the heat vents. Now the heat vents are around the upper face of the Titan, which is where the custard pot is, which is the central aperture, the yellow glowing boiling soup that the actual Thargoids come out of that they're spawned from. I don't know whether that's the entrance, the front door or something. Anyway, that portal, that yellow portal that's right in the centre, like a little kind of fondue dip in the centre of the Titan, that's the surface that the heat vents are on. So the heat vents are around the side and they look a little bit like uh, mollusky, limpity, barnacle type affairs. And they stand proud of the Titan's lobes. There's eight of them. And if you're lucky, you can get well, I can get five. I believe it is possible to get six. Some people may be able to get more, but my ship will only get five. And that's that's fine by me, because by the time you've got five, you've, you've shot it enough times to overload the Titan's heat protections. It gets toasty inside, and then it needs to extend its thermal core. The thermal core is uh, pretty hot. If you go too close to it, you get really cooked. But, uh, but the thermal core... I imagine allows it to bring down the heat of the Titan. So your aim is to get the thermal core out. You have these special torpedoes they've developed recently, the engineers. 
that enable you to damage the heat vents. So you do your thing one side. And then you go to the other side of the pancake. And that's got all the spiky bits, the underside, basically, of the Titan, opposite the yellow seething custard portal, is the thermal heat core. And that is helpfully lit up like lights on top of a circus tent. So you can whip round, once you've made it start venting, you can whip round to that side of the Titan and you start laying into it with all your AX weapons that you've got until it shuts down and it retracts and it puts down its healing torus. Its healing torus is like a big blue pumpkin. And it, uh, it's quite damaging in, if you're inside the torus, but if you go directly up, you don't get caught by it. You can watch it and it's very pretty indeed. This picture's from when we blew it up. So I'll, um, I'll probably end up drawing more of them. So expect more and watch this, etc, etc. Thank you for listening to me going on. I, I'm sure that you've seen many and similar descriptions of the events because it's been great fun. Okay, thank you. Bye. <laughs>